26, London Broncos nil at the Brick Community Stadium. I still can't get used to saying that one. On a night where we had wingers thinking they were kickers, we had Oscar-winning performances at the play, the ball. We also had a knock-on that was invisible. We had a bit of everything going on at the Brick Community Stadium there in Wigan. However, there's no doubt about it. We've been saying for about four, maybe five, maybe six weeks that there's a young man at the Wigan Warriors who we believe is going to be a superstar. And that man, of course, is Jack Farramond. And he showed why last night. We can see a player here at Super League Raw. We've been saying it all season. He deserved his chance. In he goes. Harry Smith rested. Oh, yes. In he, and he takes his chance. Some wonderful, wonderful tries from the young man. Two on the night. A great assist as well. Very nearly got a hat-trick. He was all over it. 117 metres from 11 carries. He did seven tackle busts. Two clean breaks. He was on fire. And guess what? Six kicks from six. Yeah, he's got a boot on him as well. The future is bright at the Wigan Warriors. There's no doubt about that. You can watch this kid all day. I mean, there may even be arguments here. Does he deserve to be dropped? Not on that performance. Never in a million years. This kid is going to be electric. 18 years of age. The world at his feet. Oh, yes. Jack Farron. Remember the name. I could say on this performance, the ex Lee Minor could one day be the number seven for England. And what a fitting, fitting tribute as well to Rob Burrow at Leeds. He'd have been delighted. Obviously, he had his eye on the Leeds game. But knowing Rob as a rugby league purist, He'd have had that one on record and he'd have been watching it after the game. And I think he would have been basking in the glory of the 18-year-old on that performance. Absolutely sensational stuff. As for the London Broncos, you know, let's be clear, they never went away. And this is what I love about London. Yes, the score's 36 points to nil, but they had some chances, bombed some tries, and they kept going right to the end. I mean, the final play of the game was very nearly a score where it was a judge to be a knock-on. And you've got to give them credit for that. You really do. Uh, Alex Walker seemed a bit out of it for me. Um, didn't really run with much punching power from fullback. Uh, maybe the occasion got to Alex going to Wigan for the first. I don't know. I mean, just just a little bit of an observation. Maybe a couple of them throws on the night. Uh, but after the game, Mike Eccles, as he always is, you know, very clear on where his team's at. He'll take the positives out of the game, uh, and he will as they prepare for next week. But back to the Wigan Warriors. You know, this was a performance of absolute. Yeah, just professionalism. You know, when you see these young players come in, I mean, Wardle got a brace on the night. Miski and Marshall, let's be fair, their tries were were very easy. And one thing that I think that Mike Eccles will be very disappointed with is the tries that were conceded from scrums. I mean, Wigan, I mean, some of them were so, so easy. The Miski one especially. I mean, dearie, dearie me. I mean, he could have maybe, he didn't even need to tip so to the line. You know, it was like, you could, have, you could have put it on slow motion and it just still got there. Unbelievable the amount of space that was created on the edges at those scrums from Matt Pete's perspective. Perspective. Fantastic to see training ground plays executed well on match day. But like I say, everything about this game, the tries, Ferriman's tries. Oh, yes, the first one. I mean, it could have been Sean Edwards, couldn't it? It could have been. I mean, let's be absolutely crystal on that. The way he took it, you know, little jinky run, saw the check, went for the gap. Beautiful, beautiful. You know, everything about his game on the night, you know, his support plays, attacking play, he was in and around. It's, and let's be fair as well, put some really decent shots on. He had 16 tackles in the game and some of them were really, really good as well. So, yeah, like I say, no surprise to do the three points he's going to. Has to be done it. Young Mr. Jack Barrowman. Outstanding performance. Another superstar in the 2024 season, perhaps, has been born. We've been seeing the likes of Moy, Leon Hayes, you know, Denis Balfour last week for, for Hull FC, Noah Stevens at, at St. Tellings, Alfie Edgill. You know, the list goes on and on. Of course, Hanley at Lee. You know, I could go on. I could probably pull one out of every club. It's fantastic to see this sport of ours continuing to develop talent as good as this. We get, of course, the masters of it, aren't they? Let's be clear on that. But what a performance. Jack, lad. Wow. Just simply wow. Take a bow. Take the three points. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful. Enjoy it with your family. The two points I'm going to give to Junior and Semba. Oh, yes, Junior. Another brilliant performance from another youngster. I mean, I didn't mention Semba. Another absolute powerhouse of a player. Yes, he got a try assist in this 113 metres from 11 carries, but 34 tackles in D. Nobody tackled more in the Wigan side than Junior and Semba in this game. You could argue they didn't need to tackle at 36 points to nil, but hey, it's all about professionalism. It's all about doing your job on both sides of the ball. And let's be fair, Junior had a really Real solid game, again, on both sides of the ball. And the one point I'm going to give to Bevan French. Bevan, with his try, uh, he was all over it. Well, there was a moment, I think it was in the second half, if memory serves, it might have been the first, where he got the ball probably inside these first five metres. 
And off he went. He started to crab, then he straightened up. And if it weren't for an ankle tap, I think he could have gone the full length. It was a beautiful moment in the game. Bevan French showing his magician nature on the field. I mean, let's be clear, the man at times could actually wear that top hat and tails and he'd still be as good on the field. Incredible stuff. Wigging top, at least for 48 hours anyway, because Saints play Salford tomorrow. But, you know, at this moment in time, they are the team to beat. You consider their starting team at the start of the year in this game. Let's consider there was no field in there, no Kieran. He'll find it hard to get back in because young Eckersley, again, let nobody down. His um, his tackle on Thiessen was exceptional to stop uh, Hugo from going in uh, in the game. So you've got to give Eckersley his due. What an incredible five to six weeks that young man has had, by the way, at the Wigan Warriors. But like I say, no Kieran in this game. No Harry Smith. Obviously, French being at fullback meant that they went into this with a, a new combination at Haas with Hampshire and with Farriman. A lot of Wigan fans not impressed with Hampshire, but like I say, Farriman, absolutely different gravy. You know, they've got so much quality that's sitting out of the team as well. You know, um, it, it really is unbelievable. You know, no Brad O'Neill in this one. He was given a, a night off. So, like I say, you look right the way through it. It must be wonderful for Matt Pete to be here. And people say, well, it's London. Yeah, I know it's London, but it doesn't matter. You know, at the end of the day, they've, they've just nilled the team with quite a handful of youthful kids in there. And you've got to tip your hat to them. And this is why many believe that Wigan are going to create a new dynasty in Super league at this time because of the strength of the roster. These kids that are coming through, uh, you know, where like the other teams who might be able to pick one, maybe two, maybe three, these have got four, five, six and seven coming through. It's incredible what we're going to manage to amass in their squad this season. At the moment, they are the team to make. Once we get to the business end and playoff rugby league, anything can happen because it's all about turning up on the day. Who can forget Catalan St. Helens in Perpignan last year? And this happens year in, year out. You know, if you cash your minds back a long, long time, Warrington beat Leeds at, at Headingley with a drop goal uh, to get uh, through a playoff game. So like I say, you know, surprises can happen. Remember Casford Saints, remember all of these different games. Surprises can happen in playoff rugby league, but in terms of the league leader's shield, it's going to take something very, very special from the chasing pack for me personally to stop Wigan from winning the shield at the end of the season for the second year in a row. Do you agree with that? Do you not agree with that? Do you agree with my 3-2-1? Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget today at 3 o'clock, it's Warrington travelling to the MKM and then tonight, brilliant game in Perpignan, Catalan going up against the Huddersfield Giants who've got a tremendous record against the Dragons in Perpignan and then of course tomorrow uh, we brought pull the curtain down with that game at Salford with Saints. In the sheds we'll be back tomorrow uh, going over today's games, Warrington, uh, Hull FC and Huddersfield at the Catalan Dragons and of course Course, we will also be doing in the sheds on Monday, St. Helens uh, travelling to Salford. Don't forget as well, the final whistle podcast will be available this Monday morning for your trip to work at 6 a.m. in the morning. That's right. It'll be there for you to download for to listen to what we, the Super League Raw team, have to say about the weekend's action, but also the team tour members of Super League Raw. Would you like to become a member? In the description of this video is your uh, link to go and have a look at that. We'd love your support. We'd love to you to come along and, and to get involved with the Final Whistle podcast. But that's been in uh, the sheds for this uh, for this edition. Well done to the Wigan Warriors. Outstanding performance from Wigan. And Mr. Farrowman, my friend, if dreams come true, if you're going to dream of rugby league, that's the performance to dream about. Outstanding young man. Well played. Wigan Warriors 36. London Broncos nil. We'll see you next time on In The Sheds.